starts. We have uh, no tornadoes, just a little bit of wind. Uh, no rain. Spring is in the air, and we are here today to open up Looney Hall. The building we now call Looney Hall was built in 1915. You know, it's almost 100 years old. It was opened up as West Plains Central High School. Now you can see a picture of the building in the book Images of America, West Plains 1930 to 1970, written by our very own Tony Aid and Jerry Womack. I have an autographed copy right here. Uh, and it'll show you the building as it looked back in 1915 as the, as the high school. In 1984, the building was purchased by the university for $225,000, with 50% of the money coming from the Springfield campus and 50% of the money coming from the West Plains campus. In 1986, the West Plains campus received a $996,000 as part of Missouri's third state building fund to renovate the building. And that added the fourth story, which is actually a bottom story, uh, in the back. The building opened approximately one year later and was known as Central Hall. In 1998, when Dr. Marvin Looney retired as the fourth chancellor of Missouri State University West Plains, the Board of Governors passed a resolution naming the building Looney Hall in his honor. And we are happy to have Dr. Marvin Looney with us today. The need for additional classrooms and laboratories using the latest technology has increased along with our enrollment. Back in uh, when we uh, first purchased the building, our enrollment was about 500. Over the last four years, enrollment has increased by 40% on the West Plains campus, and more of our students are full-time students, resulting in 58% increase in credit hours. Last fall, we had 2,224 students on the West Plains campus, and this fall, we expect to break that number. Our latest renovation of Looney Hall cost half a million dollars and was financed by the Missouri State University System's bonding initiative with the payments being made by the West Plains campus. This project also included a $250,000 federal grant assisted by Congresswoman Joanne Emerson for our Allied Health Simulation Laboratory, and you'll hear a little bit more about that. Finally, individual rooms are being sponsored, including a $20,000 sponsorship by Physical Therapy Specialist Clinic, and you'll hear more about that as well. The result of this project is a greatly improved building, four additional classrooms, three additional labs, including one with the very latest in allied health clinical simulation technology. In addition to Dr. Jim Kofer, Congresswoman Joanne Emerson, and Ms. Mary Shedd, all of whom will speak shortly, there are many people who we want to thank today. They include Doug Sampson, who is the university architect and director of planning for design and construction. He is not here today, but he was involved in both the interior and exterior renovation. Brad Kielhofer, of university engineer and associate director of planning, design, and construction. He was also involved in both the interior and exterior renovation. Ken Boatwright, the project manager, Planning, Design, and Construction. He is not able to be here today, but he was involved in the exterior renovation. Kirk Matchell of Structural Engineering Associates Incorporated, the engineering firm for the Looney Hall exterior. Cody Ritter of DeWitt and Associates Incorporated, general contractor for Looney Hall exterior. Bruce Emmerich, project manager architect for planning, design, and construction. He was involved in the interior renovations. Tim Galoit of Esterly Schneider and Associates Incorporated, architecture firm for the Looney Hall interior. And Tina Brown of Bales Construction, general contractor for the Looney Hall interior. Finally, I would be remiss if I did not recognize our own Matt Morris, Director of Business and Support Services. Matt created the Cass Hall concept, moving 50% of our offices on campus to another location 
to make room for the classrooms that we renovated in this building, and he supervised the renovation of Looney Hall. We could not have done it without him or all of the others who assisted in this effort, and could we please give them a round of applause. At this time, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, who has proven to be an avid supporter of the West Plains campus. Over the last nine months, he has uh, we've frequently seen him on our campus, in our community, and even wearing grizzly blue when he attended our Region 16 basketball tournament. Dr. Cover, I must say that is a very handsome grizzly blue bow tie you are wearing today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Jim Cover the president of Missouri State University. It's a real pleasure to be back in West Plains. I have to tell you, I didn't own a blue tie, period, before I got here. And once I found, because our major rivalry at my former institution was blue. So for me to put on a blue bow tie, it's a little bit of a problem in the beginning, but I really have enjoyed being down here so much that I wear this with pride. And we've even got our Grizzly blue t-shirts and, and shirts we can wear to Grizzly basketball games, which we've done. But uh, Deborah and I, and Deborah's here uh, with me today as always, but we, we have enjoyed our visits uh, to West Plains. We've enjoyed the interaction that I've had with, with Herb and Chris and, and Drew and all the folks at West Plains because this is a very, very important part of the Missouri State University system. We look at this as an equal partner in our educational mission for Missouri State and for Missouri. And so for me to come down here is always a pleasure. I've watched, uh, I got to see Looney Hall uh, when Drew's office was still in here. And so I got to see it beforehand, and then now the I've I've come back and looked at the progress, and I do uh, I do want to also add my congratulations and thanks to Matt Morris. I see him in the back. You know, Matt. I figured Matt would be over here looking at this building, but he was over there at that other construction site when I came up, looking to see what was going on over there. So Matt is always working to make sure the West Plains campus looks great. But a, a thankful thank you to, to Matt for such a good job. But this is a wonderful building. You'll get to see some state-of-the-art equipment in there that will help us educate students in this area. And I think that's the one good thing about our branch here in West Plains is um, a lot of the folks in West Plains stay in West Plains. And we are really happy to be able to have this campus here to educate the students in this area. And so we continue to support it with our time, with our monies, with as much support as we can give for Drew and the campus. I really, really appreciate uh, Drew's work. Uh, we've got to be uh, colleagues as well as friends over the last nine months, and uh, he's doing a wonderful job. I think it's 13 semesters now with an increase. Is it 13? 13 straight semesters with an increase in enrollment. That just tells you what a good job Drew and the entire staff at West Plains are doing here. I also got to meet uh, uh, Joanne. Uh, 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 earlier this year uh, when uh, I went to Washington and uh, we did uh, we did have some time to uh, spend a little time together and we got to know each other and it's uh, it's always a pleasure to, to welcome uh, a representative from this area but especially one that helps us out and I think that's important because Joanne has always supported this area she's always supported West Plains so it is an absolute pleasure for me to introduce the next speaker, who is, who is an advocate for the people of Missouri's 8th Congressional District. She's currently serving her 8th term, and her distinguished career has been guided by her commitment and dedication to serving the interests of the people in South Central and Southeast Missouri. Thanks to her efforts, the newly renovated M.O. Looney Hall is home to a state-of-the-art allied health simulation lab made possible through a $250,000 federal grant. We are pleased to have her with us today for this celebration. Please join me in welcoming United States Representative Joanne Emerson. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Dr. Kofer, uh, Chancellor Bennett. This is really, and all the folks who made this possible, 
Dr. Looney, it's really exciting to be here, but I think more important than that is the fact that I am so blessed and so fortunate to be able to represent communities like West Plains in the United States Congress. And I love to go, and I love to be in Washington and, and brag about the great things that y'all are doing. Obviously, uh, the, the campus of, of uh, Missouri State here in West Plains is continuing to grow. We have amazing opportunities for our traditional and non-traditional students to get a better education, which then obviously helps uh, in the job market later on. But, but more impressive than anything is, is the way that you all have such vision here and you're able to try to, you're able to, to figure out what the job market's going to look like in the future. And obviously we know healthcare, uh, in spite of or, uh, or not what en ends up happening with the new Accountable Care Act, we still have a great shortage of and lack of access to good health care in rural America. And obviously, we are so fortunate to have Ozarks Medical Center here and the university and the nursing program to, to feed into that and to help with the worldwide, the worldwide actual shortage that we do have in the nursing program and, and in other disciplines. And so I'm, I'm really very, very honored to, to be here to help dedicate Looney Hall. And, you know, it was interesting when, when the university uh, and I first began talking about the simulator. I didn't have a clue what they were talking about, you know, a simulator and how is this going to help, but I have in the meantime actually seen uh, the, the incredible things that these simulators do. And in my opinion, you really have one of the very few state-of-the-art types of nursing facilities here to enable you to learn so much quicker and so much better. really exciting, but it, it doesn't surprise me because everybody pulls together in the community, everybody works as a team, and that's the way it should be, and I'm just very, very honored and, and pleased to have played a, just a tiny, tiny part in making all of this happen. So congratulations to, to West Plains and to the university, and I can't wait to get inside, so I will stop, and I just thank you again for allowing me to have the privilege of serving y'all in Washington, D.C. Thanks. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, and we do live in a blessed uh, community We're with great community support. I am uh, thankful for everybody that has gathered here. Uh, particularly, we have uh, <coughs> former U.S. Representative Wendell Bailey with us uh, here today. Uh, our major employer, uh, uh, OMC, uh, David Zekman, the, the CEO of Ozark Medical Center here with us today. Uh, one of our, our other major employers, Aravac, uh, represented by uh, its uh, uh, CFO, CEO, uh, Mr. Uh, Meyer, uh, Seth Myers and his wife, uh, Denver, here, along with uh, everybody else. So this is a, a caring community that comes together. Uh, another leader uh, of our community is Ms. Mary Shedd. Uh, Ms. Mary Shedd is a member of our Board of Governors and has served uh, as past chair of that board. As a community leader and a businesswoman in West Plains, she has been a staunch supporter of this campus. Today, representing Physical Therapy Specialist Clinic of West Plains, she dedicates a room within Looney Hall named in honor of Mindy Leahy Houston, a former nursing student and graduate of Missouri State University, West Plains. Please join me in welcoming Mary Shedd. Well, first I want to thank Drew and the staff for giving me a chance to make a few comments about Mindy Leahy Houston and also about the significance of the name recognition of the Mindy Houston Nursing Program. Um, when it's windy like this, uh, it's kind of nice to, to know exactly what you're going to say off the cuff, but I hope you don't mind today. I have a few comments I'd actually like to, to share, especially since um, I feel like I am representing 
Brenda and the family as well as the clinic. Uh, one of the nice things about the clinic is, is it will serve as an ongoing recognition and memory of Mindy, who was an exceptional, wonderful young woman and led a great life. She had a strong personality, she had a tremendous work ethic, and she was very tenacious. She was also very focused, determined, but warm, caring, and compassionate. At a very young age, she showed all the necessary characteristics of being a good nurse. Mindy became a member of the PTSC family when she was 11, and when her mother, Brenda, joined the staff in 1999. At such a young age, it was apparent Mindy had an unwavering faith and a rock-solid foundation as a strong Christian. Mindy exemplified these personal strengths and characteristics as a daughter, sister, and friend. She honed these skills through her young life as an excellent student and as an outstanding athlete, helping the West Plains Zizzers make state history by winning a perfect 15 in the Cross Country State Championship in 2004. As time went on, Mindy had a chance to challenge her core principles and her strength of character in a most difficult and personal way. After Mindy's high school graduation, she was accepted and started the nursing program here at MSU. Shortly after she started as a young mother and young wife, she was diagnosed with cancer. During this time, it was with tremendous support of Donna Jones, the nursing director, and the entire nursing faculty that Mindy was able to receive the necessary care she needed from Dr. Chuck Morgan and his staff, as well as be able to continue through the nursing program and pass her state exam. In May of 2008, <clears throat> I was honored to be on the Board of Governor and present Mindy with her di diploma from MSU West Plains. That was a momentous occasion. Mindy loved her nursing faculty and her classmates. She appreciated and held them dear to her for all the support they had given her during those difficult times. Shortly after graduation from the program, Mindy went to work at OMC in the OB department, where she continued to establish strong and larger network of very close and dear friends. They encouraged her, empowered her, and sustained her during her final short life. I feel that Minnie was an exceptional person. I think she was a great mother and wife, daughter, sister, and friend. Minnie was the type of person that I was really proud to be able to call a friend. And Mindy made you want to be a better person. Mindy had this ability to motivate by exemplifying, being a very strong Christian herself. Today, we honor Mindy through the naming of this room. We honor her family, her husband Derek, her daughter Maddie, her parents Brenda and George Miller, her sister Amanda Holmes and family, and her brother Tyler, as well as all her grandparents, aunts and uncles and cousins that were able to be here today. The financial support of the name rooming helps the efforts of the university to assist future nursing students to attain the highest quality education and to help them advance their careers and their profession in South Central Missouri. Congresswoman Joanne Emerson, we applaud all your hard work and all your many efforts for us and specifically here at SMSU West Plains. I want to thank all the administration, faculty, and staff that have worked so hard to educate and support the students from this area, and Dr. Drew Bennett for his leadership, as well as Dr. Kofer, who not only participated today, but gives us tremendous system-wide support. I want to thank Joe Kramer and his uh, development office and Elizabeth Grisham for the very special day they made today. I know Mindy would be very proud. She'd be honored. I think she'd even be humbled although I cannot think of anyone that I think is more worthy of such an honor. I want to congratulate MSU on your new Looney renovation and Dr. Looney, as well as the Health Related Science Department for the beautiful renovation. I think it's a tremendous asset to the whole community and I thank you for letting me be a part of this today. Mary, thank you very much. Uh, what we are going to do now is to uh, cut the ribbon on our latest improvement. Before we do that, 
And I want to recognize that we have outstanding faculty and staff uh, at this institution. Um, one of the reasons that we have such, uh, uh, such quality is because we have cultivated faculty and staff who are interested in helping students succeed. And this building, let us not forget the purpose of this day, this building is for the students who will come, learn, and stay, and be better, more productive citizens in our community. So for the students of uh, this, this area, we are about to cut a ribbon.